YouTube. First snow of the fall of 2023 and it's October 31st. Happy Halloween! I don't know if I'll get a video out today, but I did want to take a video of this. I'm sure it'll be gone by the end of the day. I love snow. degrees here this morning but who cares when the sky looks like this I'm not complaining at all I love snow I love the cold and I'm really loving this sunrise <laughs> I'm gonna do a vloggy floss tube today so join me for the ride you can see the frost on the roof so one of the things we're doing today is taking our trailer and putting it in storage. So we're going to drive out the highway and do that today. It looks so clean. My husband gave it a good wash this summer. I'm replacing that decal eventually because it's peeling off along with some other ones. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Chat soon.
Hello, everybody. My name is Patty. My pronouns are she, her. I am coming to you from the extreme east coast of Canada on the island of Newfoundland in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador at almost the most easterly point in North America. Uh, it is Thursday, November 2nd. It is my birthday month. I am very, very excited. Um, I, my favorite two months are November and December. Uh, I also really like October. <laughs> I'm definitely, I am de totally a fall and um, winter person. I actually wasn't going to video today. I was, I've been kind of, po I've been procrastinating. And the reason why I'm procrastinating is because this is a floss tube and this is a floss tube about cross stitch. And I haven't stitched this week. So I'm not going to be showing you any uh, stitching progress. I am going to be showing you a stitching pattern. There is going to be stitchy, general stitchy content. But if you're here to see updates on my stitching, I'm afraid that you're going to be disappointed. I'm going to do a little bit of life update first, and uh, then I'll get into the stitchy content and content. Um, so it's just been a week. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm not alone and that every now and then you have one of those weeks. I mean, we had Halloween this week, which meant I was busy helping the boys get costumes. Naturally, the we, it was left till the last minute. Um, getting candy, just the house is a tip, like it's, it is a mess. I haven't had a chance to, and I don't know why, it, like I feel like sometimes I, anyway, I look around and I'm appalled. I am getting to some things and the vast majority of other things I'm not getting to at all. So one of the things I haven't gotten to is cross stitching this week. I have done a fair bit of cross stitch designing, which is awesome, um, but not so much of the actual stitching, which I desperately want to do. So I'm actually hoping if not tomorrow, then over the weekend, I am going to get a stitch with me video done. I am hauling um, Thursa Goes Goth. Uh, out of my, or it's actually still on my lovely Hearthside Creations um, lap frame. And I'm going to be working on that. Uh, so I'm hoping to do a stitch with me. And this weekend, we, uh, myself and my fellow uh, some cross stitch floss tubers like Pam from Pam's Crafty Corner and Bonnie from, and Bonnie, I always, we, uh, thread the needle. I always get your name wrong. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen because I'm going to stop guessing because and I'm sorry, Bonnie. I don't know why. I, it's very easy. You have a lovely floss tube name. There's no reason why I shouldn't remember it, but I'm pulling a blank here again. Uh, as well as Deanne from Stitching on the Rock and a few others who, and I'm probably forgetting other floss tubers and will probably get in trouble. <laughs> no, I won't get in trouble. So anyway, uh, cross-stitching friends who are here in the uh, kind of greater St. John's area are gathering together for a stitchy afternoon on Saturday, which I am so looking forward to because like i said it has been a week nothing bad just busy crazy busy okay so i have my trusty list that uh i am working on here um i noticed when i did my video last week uh, all about the retreat about jacob palooza i forgot a couple of people and i'm sure i forgot more than a couple of people um in terms of a shout out but i did want to mention two people that i had met um, and I, I, one of them was Lee. Hi, Lee. Um, Lee is another floss tuber and knitter here on uh, YouTube. I put Lee's floss tube name uh, down at the bottom. It was wonderful to meet Lee in person. What a wonderful, wonderful human being. Uh, that was really fun. And actually, if uh, I did put in the video, I didn't kind of I guess shout Lee out specifically last week, although I did have a picture of her and I with Candace from I Can So Make That uh, photobombing us in the background. So I did mention Lee, but I wanted to say, hi, Lee, <laughs> another shout out. And I, I would be, I can't believe I forgot to mention Teal. Teal Elder, um, and I got to meet in person finally at Jacob Palooza. Teal has been a follower and regular commenter on this channel for years. And it was absolutely wonderful to see her cheerful, smiling, beautiful face at uh, Jacob Palooza and to have a little bit of a chat. And Teal's just another wonderful, wonderful human being. So hi, Teal. It was wonderful to meet you in person. Hopefully we'll get to do so again sometime in the near future. Um, Let's see. I wanted, I mentioned last week that I had started a Patreon. And um, so 
I, I, this is new for me. I'm sure I'm going to have some growing pains. I would love suggestions about Patreon because I want to have it uh, a little bit to take over from a blog opportunity. So I have a website where I I sell designs, but I want to, an opportunity to speak, um, to have more of an interaction with the community kind of on a daily or every two day basis, um, which I can't I want to do through Patreon. So you can join a, a Patreon um, and my channel for free. You don't need to pay anything. I will have some um, posts that are available to members who are free. I will have some patterns that are available to members who are free, free throughout the year. Uh, there are, it's Patreon. So the concept behind Patreon is that um, we support creators on Patreon. I'm not asking for financial support. Dropping and leaving a comment is absolutely fine with me and I would love that. Um, but I did want to let you know that for uh, paying members for this month of November, you can, um, I have posted a pattern. I'm gonna put the pattern in here. Um, this is one that I've designed. It's not gonna be released to the public for at least three or more months. And I wanted to show you that if you're interested in joining us over on Patreon, Patreon, <laughs> then that pattern was available to you um, uh, within the paid, each of the paid membership tiers. Any questions, any issues with that? please let me know because like I said, I'm new and there's probably going to be some growing pains as I learn how to use the platform. Okay, what's next? Um, so oh, again, over on page, uh, Patreon, I am, so I've made, uh, I've kind of literally sketched and I'll show them to you, three designs for Flossmas 2023. If you would like to vote on the Flossmas 2023 uh, ornament. So I've got three sketches, very rough sketches with a little bit of detail uh, written down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, instead of showing you on my book, I'm going to uh, put them up here on the screen so you can, they'll be going by my face right now. Um, anyway, if you are interested in voting on which of those ornaments becomes the Flossmas 2023 ornament, then Join us over on a pa a Patreon because I am, I've got a poll listed and I can't decide, Caroline can't decide, uh, not really sure which one to, um, sorry, I'm trying to find my notes again, uh, not sure which one to choose, so I really appreciate your input over on Patreon about which of those sketches um, that you are interested in seeing for Flossmas 2023. Uh, please let me know if you aren't able to vote because I will put, um, I'm not sure how I if I have it set up correctly or not. So if you can't vote, please let me know so I can fix that. And I appreciate your time and <laughs> consideration. For anybody who's not aware, um, Flossmas is, oh, let's go back in some history. Flossmas was coined by, mm, I'm not gonna think of her name, but it wasn't coined by Carolina of Off the Grid Needle Arts. It was, coined by another friend of ours who, again, his name has escaped me, and I don't think who is doing floss tube anymore. But Caroline got their permission to use the term Flossmas, and that is the holiday season of uh, in December from the 1st to the 31st. Uh, and a lot of uh, folks have now taken up the, I guess, the Flossmas mantle. And it's it's whatever you want to make it. You make it whatever you want it to be. The first year, I joined Caroline and a new start uh, most days. Um, I don't, I'm not doing that particular item this year. Uh, but there's... If Flossmas is what you make of it, I usually try to do a video every day or most days. And this year, it won't be a commitment to do a video every day because I find that a little bit too much. But I will try to get out regular vloggy videos out over the course of December. Anyway, when uh, Caroline started Flossmas in 2018, uh, she asked me to design a Flossmas ornament for charity, which I have done since tw from 2018 to present day. Um, so what happens is that any the a significant like eighty percent of the proceeds because uh, I I keep twenty percent to pay for like my listing fees and credit card fees and such on my website, um, but the rest of the monies go towards whatever charity that we've chosen. Sometimes Caroline choose Caroline and I choose the same um, charity. Sometimes we each choose a particular charity that's near and dear to our own personal hearts, and um, I need to think about who my charity is going to be this year. Anyway, the proceeds from the sales from the December 1st to the 31st go to that charity on January 1st. 
so you this is the first year I've done this giving you the opportunity to vote on which of my Flossmas ideas uh, ornament ideas and if you're interested in voting on that like I said go over to patreon and if there's a reason why you can't vote and you have the time and I really appreciate this please let me know so I can change it because like I said I'm new <laughs> at patreon and I may not have it set up correctly for you to vote so it should be free for all members uh, whether you're a free member or a paying member okay um, what else? The, um, so I wanted to let you, and I forgot to bring up a piece. There are, is some new fabric being listed this week and over the, into the weekend, uh, on our Brenna Needle site. Right now, Juniper is a new colorway. Um, it's a green, uh, that's the name Juniper, uh, listed on the Brenna Needle wheels. Oh my goodness, Bryn and Needle website, which I'll put at the bottom of the screen on the hand dyer behind uh, Bryn and Needle and my par business partner Cheryl is the um, creative genius behind our floss. You will notice that there's not a lot of floss listed yet. Um, I'm going to put together some packages of complementary colors to go with each of the fabrics that are listed. Cheryl has not had time to dye uh, any floss in the past oh, for several months many months now, really since Stitch North uh, 2023 because of her work, her regular work schedule. So um, we're trying to do some different things to make uh, it fresh and exciting. And there will be, like I said, new fabrics going in. So Juniper is there in 14 uh, count Ada and 32 count Linen. And there will be more different fabrics going up over the next few days. Uh, I'm trying to list a fabric every day over the next few days as I dye them and get them prepared and such. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. Um, actually, I'll put in some pictures here as well so I can show you because I forgot the fabric downstairs and I don't want to run and get it right now because it's been a week and I'm lazy. <laughs> um, I did mention a little while ago that is November is my birthday month. My birthday is the uh, 17th of November. I am proud to say that I will be 53 years old because how many people are not... Uh, have not even been able to make it to my age. So I am so proud uh, to be here, um, to be healthy and happy, and I'm gonna celebrate all month. So please keep an eye out here on YouTube, um, on Patreon and uh, Instagram, uh, because I'm going to be uh, hosting, when I have an idea, I'm gonna be about how I want to share with this community, I will be doing it in on those platforms. I will also be doing another uh, YouTube Live coming up soon, though I haven't chosen a date yet. So keep that in mind as well if you're interested in attending a YouTube Live. Okay. Um, I Oh, yeah. So I want to, my next retreat, I think I may have alluded to this before, but I have a retreat in June. I'm going to be going on the first Floss Tube at Sea Cruise, uh, hosted by Jean Farish. Michelle uh, Garrett from Betty Stitches and Jan Hicks from Jan Hicks Creates. Um, absolutely thrilled. Have a wonderful roommate uh, already, cabin mate. We haven't met yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to meeting her in person. Um, really excited about the concept of a floss tube, a, a cross stitch retreat on the ocean. I think that's going to be a blast. So I'll talk more about that as we get closer to the date. Uh, and the other thing before, because I am going to be pulling some prizes that I wanted to do is I was, um, so many months ago, there was a fundraiser and kind of a call to action for um, Cottage Garden Threads and Pam. It was, uh, the the uh, event was called Hearts for Pam and Cottage Garden Threads is in Australia. I've never, I've heard of Cottage Garden Threads. I've never used a thread before, but Today I picked up my package. From Cottage Garden Threads, this is the Hearts for Pam package um, that was available for purchase to help support Pam through a significant health crisis. Uh, so I'm going to unbox this with you. So here's the packaging. And I've only opened it insofar as to know that there's tissue paper in here. So I'm going to pull that out. Some nice and parceled with the little peach sticker. 
And I'm going to open that up and let's see what's, oh, gorgeousness. You know what? I think I'm going to, no, I'll, uh, I will show you as we go. So at the very top, there is a thank you for your support. Happy stitching from all of the team at Cottage Garden Threads. And it's a needle minder and it says HFP Hearts for Pam 2023. Isn't that cute? There is also this absolutely stunningly beautiful uh, thread, thread drop that is also made of wood. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. And it's got a hole up here so you can attach it to a ring. The same as the needle minder actually has a hole for the same purpose. That's cool. There is a Tack It Easy Jewel Petal template here. Um, I've seen these in English paper piecing and I think that's what this is for, that you put your fabric in here and um, put glue on the edges and then fold it over and so you don't get the glue on your, I'm looking the wrong way, sorry, uh, your glue on your fingers. I think that's what that's for, but stay tuned in case I, um, and I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the gorgeous, gorgeous thread. So the, these are all stranded cotton. This first one is called Bottle Brush. And I'm in natural light here, so you're actually gonna see this. It looks really good. This next one is Canard. A beautiful variegated green. That is gorgeous. It's not focusing very well, is it? It's a bit better. Um, Sleepy Cat. Beautiful. Hearth. There's a beautiful variegated black. If I, yeah, I put it over my head. It uh, focuses a bit better. Page Turner. Gorgeous. Le Bouton. The button. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's it's pink. It's like a salmon with burgundy. I don't know how to describe it, but it is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I'm so excited. I've never worked with cottage garden threads before. Conservatoria Green. Lima, a beautiful variegated blue. Has like a navy blue going into almost a black blue. Marigold and hugs and kisses. Gorgeous. So stranded cotton, 10 meter pre cut, 50 centimeter lengths, hand dyed in Australia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I have the patterns that came. So a bunch of designers got together to create patterns for Hearts for Pam. I'm gonna show you all of them. So, And I should have said, I guess, at the beginning, spoiler alert. I'll try to remember to split out the video saying spoiler alert in case you haven't received yours yet. So here we go. Hearts of Flutter by Amy Kalisa. Beautiful. My book bag. So that's a sewing pattern with embroidery. Um, let's see, hopefully you can see that. Lovebirds by Fig and Berry. Cute embroidery pattern. Um, Seasons of the Heart by Janine McGowan from the Blue Flower. So cute. Fox and Rabbit Bathtub of Blossoms. All of these have a heart theme for Hearts for Pam. Wild Hearts, Hearts for Pam. I just saw this one released on Instagram as well. Beautiful. Sweet Heart by Lisa Matic. Another, um, this is appliquing and stitching, embroidery stitching. Molly and Mama Ribbon and Roses Stitchery for Heart. Floral heart embroidery design. That's gorgeous ribbon embroidery there. Beautiful. 
uh, by Lindy Stitches, the Queen of Thread. That is beautiful. Look at that tomato. Look at her stitching. Okay, that's amazing. And Bendy Stitchy, Ace of Swords. This is a tarot card. We also have Hare's Nest Stitching. And embroidery, embroidered bunny and a heart. Bunnies, two bunnies. Oh, here's the pattern that that applique cardboard goes with. It's jewel heart. Oh, cool. So the paper piece that we were given, we can sew together to make these a scrappy jeweled heart for quilting. Gorgeous. This one is by Jeanette Douglas. It's called Heart for Pam. I have to be careful because the pattern is on this. Beautiful. This one's by Veronique's, Ver, Veronique's Quilt Designs. And this is another embroidery pattern. Rebel Stitcher Designs Heartfelt Posy. Another heart. And a more traditional, not the traditional heart, the real heart. Ink Circles Hearts Entwined. That's beautiful. A hearty cottage garden. From Mojo Stitches, nobody has ever measured, not even the poets, how much the heart can hold. That's beautiful. I love those uh, motifs there on the edge. This one's from Handlebar Stitcher. Love Bugs. Today I, today I choose hope. I'll be careful because this one as well because the pattern's on the page. Isn't that beautiful? Hope I'm not going too fast. From the Witchy Stitcher, the Anatomical Heart number 13. Jan Hicks Creates, Hopeful Heart Prayer Flag. Wow, I feel very spoiled. That's amazing. Amazing designers, amazing thread. Wow, thank you so much to Cottage Garden Threads. That's a absolutely amazing uh, mail <laughs> today. Mailing goodness. Uh, and then last but not least, I'm going to um, post the winners for last week. I don't have the items in front of me, so I, but I'm sure you remember. The um, planner that was gifted to me at Jacob Palooza for, by, and created by uh, Lori Sykes of My Crazy Life. Uh, that planner is going to go to Corinne Mercer. Um, Corinne, let me know your, so for everybody, please let me know your, uh, send me a, I'll put my email address down in the bottom. Send me your, uh, information so that I can get these out to you. The, um, remember plus the notions bag, the remember Lizzie Kate pattern is going to Melinda Jackson. Congratulations, Melinda and Corinne. And the faith, um, Lizzie Kate pattern that is, that is also in the notions pouch is going to Nancy Matcham. So congratulations, everybody. I have two more goodie bags to go out this week. Um, my friend Melaine, who makes these beautiful, beautiful bags that I am going to show you, um, has thank you, Melaine, because these are a gift for you from Melaine. I'll put Melaine's contact information on the screen as well. These are pieced. I love these pieced bags. I think they're gorgeous. And in each one of them, I've tucked a pattern. So for this week, um, again, the usual rules, don't mention giveaway or prize in your comment. Make sure you're above 18. This is video is not sponsored by anybody besides me. <laughs> this one has uh, Lizzie Kate has Believe and Inside. It also has the charms that come with the pattern. Believe in faith, but I want to hear um, believe in your comment if you're interested in this smaller of the two 
uh, beautiful, beautiful notion pouches. Look at the fabric on the inside. Even that's really pretty. And then for this beautiful notions bag, which is a little bit bigger, and it's plain a little yellow on the inside. This one is my last of my Lizzie Kate patterns for giveaway. This one says, I want to hear, I want to see listen in your comment. And that has listen and learn. I should be over here because I'm supposed to be looking there. So listen and learn. But I want to is see listen in the comment for the random number or the random comment picker for YouTube. Uh, this is last week, and I don't know why, <laughs> I had a lot significant number of viewers compared to the number of viewers that I usually have here on YouTube. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you come and stay for a while on a regular basis. Um, normally my videos are not as long as it was last week. Um, I usually try and keep around half an hour, though today may also be a little bit longer. I'm going to put in some footage at the beginning um, of, you know, some of the things that I was up to over the past couple days. Miserable, rainy day today, so I did not take any exterior <laughs> side the house um, video because I thought that what I had was already pretty and I would add that to this video. And other than that, um, I will see you again soon. I hope you find some crafty goodness that makes your heart happy and you get to use your hands unlike me this week. Although I have had some bit of knitting. I didn't show you my knitting, but I have done a little bit of knitting this week. But I am going to tidy up a little bit and then I am going to do some stitching this afternoon. Take care, my friends, and I'll chat with you soon.